After almost two years of planning, NATO's biggest exercise in more than 10 years has begun in Italy. Trident Juncture involves more than 140 aircraft, over 60 ships and 36,000 personnel from more than 30 countries. Exercise Trident Juncture will demonstrate that NATO is ready and able to defend any ally against any threat in any form. It will demonstrate our ability to move quickly and decisively beyond our borders to protect our partners and our interests. And it will demonstrate that we can deal with everything from conventional military engagements to more subtle hybrid warfare techniques and propaganda. The exercise is based on a fictitious scenario where one country invades another. It's designed to train the troops of NATO's quick reaction forces, known as NATO Response Force, and other allied forces. Well, let me take the analogy of a football player. They're all superb. They have uh, a goalkeeper, they have strikers, but they have to form a team. And now when they come together, they need training to win next Sunday's match. The same is true for NATO. All the forces that will be deployed to Italy, Spain and Portugal are excellent national forces. But I have to bring them under the NATO umbrella because only when we train, then we can achieve a lot. The alliance is adapting to new threats east and south, making it all the more important that these forces maintain their capacity to operate together on a wide range of air, maritime, land and special operations tasks. The exercise will last for three weeks at 16 locations across Italy, Spain and Portugal. For NATO Channel in Italy, this is Mel Green.